Hi there, just going to take us a walk around this Hyundai Ioniq 5. It's the SC trim uh, and it's got a 58 kilowatt hour battery, so it's the smaller of the two batteries. However, 58 kilowatts in this highly efficient EV, that's still going to give you somewhere in the region of, sort of 230 to maybe even as much as sort of 250 miles worth of driving range, depending on time of year and your preferred style of driving, which is still a cracking range, especially when you consider the, uh, the size of this car. Um, let's have a look uh, at the stats on it. Let's have a look at the stats on it. It's only had 10,000 miles, so nice low miles. 72 plate, nice and new as well. MOT, that's not due until the end of next year. And next service, that's due uh, July uh, 2025. So, yeah, nothing to worry about for absolutely ages on this car. Very smart in the black. Um, and it's in very nice condition too. But I'll go around the exterior now and I'll, I'll point out any noteworthy marks that I see. There isn't going to be a great deal to point out, I'm glad to say. The Onyx 5 has proved to be a very, very popular car here. Now they're coming through in some numbers and the price has fallen to what is a very, very appealing price point. Um, They've been incredibly popular. For a lot of people I know the Onyx 5 has sort of been their dream car really. It's a super modern EV, modern looking, with lots of nice modern tech in it. Decent range, good heritage coming from Hyundai of course. Yeah, it's a very appealing package. It's also a bigger car than you think. So yeah, it's a nice big practical EV. to point out really I don't there's nothing I say there's nothing noteworthy you know um, maybe we'll find a stone chip or two possibly on the bonnet there's a, oh, there's a stone chip just there a couple of other minor little marks nothing much to speak of so yeah, I mean overall you're going to have to say this car's in very good condition like you'd expect for its miles. Um, nice inside, it's the, the SE trim so it doesn't have the leather seats. But you've still got this nice big long landscape dual screen uh, dash display which is really rather nice. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, it's got adaptive cruise control uh, with steering assist. Uh, which is a very handy feature to kind of have as well. Reversing camera. It's got all the bits you need. Loads of room. Great big car. Loads of space inside. And nice condition too, so that's good. Just open the boot as well. So this is a big car. It's got a really big boot. There is uh, additional storage under there if you want to want the boot a little bit deeper. But that gives you, with the seats folded, gives you a nice big, almost like an estate car load space, to be honest. So yeah, very nice spacious car. Um, in that boot we'll be putting a three-pin charging lead like we do with all our cars. So yeah, this car is going to come supplied with a lead. You can just plug into a normal main socket and charge the car from that. Uh, of course we can provide you with a charge point just let us know we'll include that with the car keep your life nice and simple and there you go um, if you're after an ionic 5 this is a good a good example comes in at a very keen price point for one as new as this and with as lower miles and it's in good condition too equally if you're after you know a, a decent start you know a, quite a large ev um, you know it's, this is a very cost-effective, high-quality uh, option. But anyway, this car's here on the forecourt, ready for a test drive or a viewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Um, thanks very much for watching, and, uh, well, hopefully we'll speak to you very soon.